Welcome to Film Riot. Today we're taking a look at this bad boy, the Mi Video Travel Tripod. And no, off the bat, as usual, we are not getting paid for this. We are never paid for reviews ever, but I do have a relationship with the Mac Group folks and they were able to get this unit to us early to check out since they have a Kickstarter out to get things going. So I wanted to check it out and let's do that. So here it is, the Mi Video Travel Tripod, and I really dig this thing. The main thing I like about it is the same thing I love about my Benro Aero 7. I showed that piece of gear in this episode right here if you're interested in checking that out. But like the Aero 7, this is a very lightweight and portable tripod that supports up to 8.8 pounds. So for all of my work where I have to fly with my gear, this is the type of tripod I want to bring since I can break it down to be very small. And again, it's nice and light. We have a fluid head up top with all the obvious functions you would expect a tripod to have with the pan and tilt control, a bubble level. And unlike some kits of this type, you can adjust your head here to make sure you are level. So no need to adjust the legs for that. Of course, the pan arm can be removed moved and swapped to either side of this kit and the quick release plate has a 3 8 inch threading and is compatible with Manfrotto 500 and 502 heads and the Benro S4 to S8 heads. So you could swap between rigs if needed. Then we have the center column. With this, we can raise or lower to make small height adjustments and use it to adjust the center of gravity for the kit as well. But you can also use this hook down here to throw on a sandbag to help stabilize your tripod. Or you could remove part of it and get a whole lot lower to the ground. So we have everything from very tall to very low at almost a high hat level. And now with the bottom portion of the center column removed, we can pull the other half with the head out of the legs, then unscrew the leg with the rubber grip and screw it into the bottom of the head column. And now we have a monopod as well, which is my second favorite thing about this tripod. So really you're getting three things in one, a standard travel tripod, a hi-hat and a monopod. So whenever I have to travel, I'm getting a lot of options with just this one piece of gear. And it's a sexy looking piece of gear. The whole thing is anodized aluminum with brushed metal edging. So it looks a whole lot more expensive than it is. Of course, we are are a show that doesn't really care what the gear looks like, just the end results that it gives you. But it is nice to have something this sexy and effective. So get to have your cake and eat it too. Yum, yum. Overall, it's a solid tripod that is super lightweight, can fold up to be incredibly small, can get extremely low, converts into a monopod, and lets you look sexy as hell on set. I guess what's up? And like I mentioned before, this is not available yet. They currently have a Kickstarter going as a way to see if people want this, which I definitely do and supported already. If you want one for yourself, jump over to their Kickstarter, which we have a link for in the descriptions below. They have a lot more info about the tripod there as well, and you can back the project as a way of pre-ordering this little travel magic. If you're a budding filmmaker, entrepreneur, innovator, domain.com is the place to go when the next idea hits you. When you buy a domain name from domain.com, you're taking the first steps in creating an identity and vision for your brand or idea. The world's top two premier and most recognized domain name extensions are .com and .net, which means those are the ones that are gonna help you build your brand and expand your presence online the best. And of course, domain.com is giving you 25% off when you use the coupon code FILMRIOT. So use that code FILMRIOT when you get domain names, web hosting, and email. And when you think domain names, think domain.com. Logo. So that's it for today. And for what I'm watching, my friend Abi Uwabian just released his latest project called The Red Machete, which I believe follows The Red Machete all the way to Rick's hands, but we'll have to watch to see. There's going to be several of them. If you want to check it out, check the links in the notes below. And until next time, don't forget to write, shoot, edit, repeat.